All right. Um, so uh, uh, you also uh, told me that you do a lot of work trying to figure out the usability of a taxonomy. Can, so we have now a proposed list of words with all these relationships that leverages what's already known, but also leverages standards. And now you're trying to say how usable is that taxonomy? Can you can you talk a little bit about how you go about that? Sure. Um, two things. You know, one is uh, it's very important to be able to demonstrate to people that this thing is going to work, um, especially to business people. Um, and you need to figure out how it's going to work, what I call behind the screen, uh, for people who are preparing content, uh, um, for example, in a product catalog, as well as for people on the other side of the screen, the consumers of content, or I call them people in front of the screen. And there are different techniques for uh, doing some validation. Um, and a lot of those are based on um, more traditional usability. Um, but the one I like to talk about more because it's not focused on so much by the uh, UX people uh, is what goes on behind the screen. And in particular, I want to be able to determine whether uh, people, and by that I'm, I usually mean um, normal people, not librarians, uh, <laughs> let's say untrained people uh, who, who work in you know offices, they're sometimes called knowledge workers, you know, clerks, and other sorts of names, but to see whether they can and completely and consistently apply tags to content. Uh, for example, can a marketing, a product marketing person, you know, choose the right industry uh, value mm -hmm. from our industry list when they've decided that they're going to be merchandising the, the products to a certain industry? Um, uh, or uh, can we uh, work with a, um, uh, someone who is uh, works in a, a communications department in a public agency and uh, um, have them identify a piece of content by what its purpose is. You know, you know this relates to uh, uh, people who want to get their uh, sidewalks fixed when, uh, or their their uh, driveways plowed, or their sewer connected, or whatever. Uh -huh. um, so what we do is, uh, you know, we, we pick some uh, examples of typical content, and it's usually really, really generic stuff and um, reports and. Uh, um, uh, press releases and uh, things that are very, very ordinary, and we sometimes just make them up uh, so that there's no real issue about you know it it, it being um, too specific. Um, and we um, and, and we and we like having people who who uh, maybe don't do this on a regular basis and even don't even deal with this content uh, do it because our goal is to try to design something that's so easy to use, so natural to use that uh, anybody can can do it. Right. Interesting. Um, we actually find librarians sometimes have a little trouble doing this because they think about it a lot. Mm. We're trying to figure out how to make it as, I like to say, natural and universal as possible. Kind of like the model that we all like of Google. That, you know, all you got to do is type in the box and you get lots of answers. Yeah. And here, the idea is, you know, it should be just really easy um, for someone to be able to to pick a couple of words and phrases from a short list um, to, to get a few things said on this content that lets us then do some cool things uh, later. Um, and we've, we've had really good results doing this. Um, it's very persuasive to managers, and it's surprising to people that they actually are as consistent as they are. Um, and it's also a way to do some kind of stealth training, if you will. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And introdu introduce this to people. So it accomplishes a lot of goals. It's a very good um, technique in a project and um, uh, really helps uh, kind of get the project moving towards the implementation phase of the project. Right, interesting. So in summary, what I, what I heard you say is that there's, when you're testing a taxonomy or when you're testing a controlled vocabulary specifically, there's what happens for the end users in front of the screen and there's mm -hmm. what happens for the people who have to tag information with that taxonomy behind the screen. And where you see the most, uh, the most new work being done is in the behind the screen. And by training people behind the screen to, to use or to uh, work with the taxonomy, you can both train them for things that they don't know they're being trained for, like how to organize the information on the website, but also provide them with a, an easy-to-use way of organizing material as it comes across their desk. Correct. All right. Well, thank